a simple song. I want you to learn and sing along. It just says, I will sing. Listen, people will be calling you. And when they call because they're going through different things, you, all you got to do is just declare the word of the Lord over their lives. Yeah. Just make declarations over their lives. Because I'm telling you guys, say, what you say is going to happen. You will have what you say. You got to believe this. How many of us believe that this morning? Yeah. That's right. You are the antidote for darkness. Why? Because you are light. Amen. Now is the time that I'm going to make you more effective than you have ever been before. I'm going to make you an effective witness. This is the time that it will be obvious to everybody. 
that the favor of the Lord is on your life. It will be obvious. You will not have to tell people that the favor of the Lord on, is on your life. They will see it. It could, it, it, would not be, it could not be hidden. Because you will just be walking into rooms and people will just receive their healing. You don't have to even touch anybody. Just step, once you step into the room, deliverance starts taking place. Why? Because you, you, you create a habitat for the presence of the Lord. And when, whenever, whenever the presence of the Lord shows up, miracles will take place. Signs and wonders will take place. We are carriers of the glory of the Lord. You got to understand that you are a carrier of the glory of the Lord. And the glory of the Lord is not confined to a building. Wherever you are, the glory of the Lord is right there. When you go to the, uh, on your jobs, you, the glory of the Lord is with you. And the people on that job will have to uh, understand that the only reason that they are succeeding is because you are there. You got you to get this. That, uh, the wish means I could never let you go. <laughs> listen, listen, when all the other business are, uh, businesses are wrong, you're not thriving. Your business will be flourishing. Why? Because you are there. And just because you are there, some other businesses will thrive just because you are there. You got to understand, we carry the light of the Lord with us. And wherever we go, miracles and supernatural wonders will take place. The Lord says, arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon you. Tell the person next to you, arise and shine. Take the nation for the kingdom of God. That's what we're going to do. We're going to take the nations of this earth for the kingdom of God. God has given us a strategy in his word. God is strategic. He doesn't just do things for doing things sick. He's strategic about everything he does. So let's look at what it says in, in Acts chapter 6. Acts chapter 6. In Acts chapter 6 from verse 1. What does it say? What does it say? It says, in those days, the number of disciples was increasing. The Grecian Jews among them complained against the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. Verse 2 says, so the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word in order to wait on tables. Then he said, brothers, choose seven men from among you who have been known to be full of the spirit and wisdom, and it will turn this responsibility over, over them. Verse 4 says, and, and will give our attention to prayer at the ministry of the word. And let, let's jump down. It says, verse 6, that they presented these men to the apostles who laid who prayed and laid hands on them. And I love verse 7. It says, so the word of God, what? It spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly. And a large number of priests became obedient to the Lord. So in other words, they realized that something great was taking place in the church. And they realized that there were many ministries to be overseen. And one or two persons can do it. So what he says, you know, well, we, got, we got to get some men full of wisdom. And when I say men, I'm not speaking about gender. Full of wisdom. And place them over these ministries. What they did, when they did that, what happened? The, the word of the Lord spread. There was, great, there was great increase. And this is what's happening at People of Destiny Kingdom Center. This is what's happening at People of Destiny Freedom Center. This is what ha what's happening at People of Destiny in, uh, Ministries International. This is what happened at People of Destiny Restoration Center. Listen, we are spreading the word with the word throughout the nations of this earth. And, and our, our goal is to have good groups in every nation of this earth. Every nation on this earth. Right now, we are, we are about to start with some in Belgium, in the UK. L -l listen, listen. The word of the Lord must spread throughout the earth. Glory to God. People are, are, will, will assemble in homes. Glory to God. We're moving out of one building. Because, uh, listen, the, the world is ours and, and we cannot contain the world into a building. So we have to go into the world and make disciples. And it's not just making, uh, making believers, it's making disciples. Because that's the call of the Lord on our life to make disciples. Effect, effective disciples who's going who's to change the face of this earth. 
Listen, it, it, the word of the Lord is spreading. We got to spread the word. This is just the beginning. You see what you are seeing here is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Greater things are about to happen to you. Greater things are about to happen to your family. Your family will start to experience success. Because listen, as believers in Christ, we got to make God look good. We got to make sure, make sure that God looks good. Because if it, God, God doesn't look good, the people won't come. Because they don't, they don't need to come to, to, to be mediocre. They could be mediocre all by themselves. So we are, as people of God, we got to walk in excellence. We got to be people of integrity. Because if you don't have integrity, what's going to happen? You, could go, you may go high, but you're going to fall flat. You're going to fall hard because we've been seeing that happening in churches all over the world. When the churches get to a certain, 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 certain size, and because the, the, the leader of the church doesn't have any integrity, the whole church comes down. But it's going to happen with people of destiny, not of our ministries. Never happen. Because we are raising up people of integrity. People who will be true ambassadors of Jesus Christ. True, true representatives of Jesus Christ. We will represent him and we will represent him well. When you, when you are an ambassador to a, to a, for a country in another country, listen, whatever you speak, you speak uh, 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 the words that you speak is just as if the prime minister or the president of that, that country has spoken. So when you are Christ's representative, when you are his ambassador, the word that you speak should be the same word that Jesus will speak, would have spoken if he was right there with you. Yeah. We got to understand. So we, we got to watch what we say because people are listening. We got to watch what we say because there, there's power in what you say. So you got to watch what we speak in the people's lives. But we, we must only speak words that are going to build people up. We should not speak words that are going to break people down. Because when you speak negative words in, in, in their lives, those words will come to pass because you have power. You got to understand who we are in Christ. We are not ordinary, we are extraordinary. The words that we, we have, will, that we speak, will come to pass. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let's put your hands together and give God some praise right where you are. Thank you, God. When Jesus was raised from the dead, he said, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. He said, go and make disciples. Take the, uh, take the authority that I give you and go. Because in other words, we are not going on our own authority. We are moving on the authority that is given to us by God. And when he, say, he gives us authority and you go out and you speak, people will listen. People will listen. It may not seem as if they are listening, but that seed has already been planted in their heart. And two weeks down the line, a month down the line, a year down the, down the road, two, months, two years down the road, all of a sudden, the seed that was sown, the seed that was planted, all of a sudden the harvest comes. And the harvest is never won. You plant one seed, <laughs> you may plant one seed in that, that person, person's life but when the person comes to Christ the whole family comes oh Jesus oh. God is interested in families that's why the enemy is trying to break down families he's trying to come in between families he's trying to come between husbands and wives he's trying to come between sons and fathers he's trying to come between the family but I come against the work of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. I declare that our families will be strong. Our family will withstand every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I declare it. Our family will live to declare the word of the Lord with power and with authority. When the enemy comes and he, and he passes by your, in your neighborhood, he has to leave your family alone. <laughs> you remember when the blood was placed on the door, on the door post? He said, when the, when, the, when, the, when the dead angel comes, he will, he will pass over you. Yes. When death comes, shows, shows up at your door, you will have to walk away. Yes. Because this is a living house. Yes. This, is a living house. this is a house that has the life of the Lord in it. Yes. And where the life of the Lord is, there is no death. Because Christ had, was victorious over death. And that's the Christ who is inside of, our, uh, uh, inside of us. Give God some praise in this place. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 
So in the early church, the apostles, they received authority from Jesus. He gave them authority to be leaders and overseers over different ministries. And the Bible said the word of the Lord spread. And the disciples greatly multiplied. Now God is calling the church to delegate authority and multiply so that the Lord of the word, Lord of the word, the word of the Lord will spread. Let's look at another passage of scripture from Acts chapter 5. Acts chapter 5 from verse 28. Let's see what the word says. After the word, the word of the Lord started to spread, because, uh, and the word of the Lord was spread here in Tobago. After the word of the Lord started to spread, they gave them strict orders not to teach in the name of Jesus. Can you believe that? <laughs> These are folks who are, who are, who, who are, who are was, they were endued with power. You telling them not to speak about, about, about God. They say, yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teachings and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood. So in other words, they tell them not to preach in the name of Jesus. And uh, they preach even more. <laughs> Until, <laughs> listen, they, they, they try to put, they put them out of Jerusalem. That, that's the mistake that we made. Because wherever they go, they spread the word. So you should have left them in Jerusalem. Because if you had left them in Jerusalem, it's the only Jerusalem they would be preaching. But the fact that you pushed them out, the word, the word started to spread throughout the region. And then, oh, when they try to squeeze you out, oh, Jesus, when they try to put you out, that's a mistake. They don't understand what they are doing. They are just ushering you into a greater experience. They're, they're just causing you to cause greater change in other people's lives. Tell them to push me. <laughs> because when you push me, my light going to shine. And the glory of the Lord will be spread throughout the nations of this earth. Somebody shout, hey, amen. amen. That's right. Push me, <laughs> Push me people. Push me. <laughs> Listen, the word spread like wildfire. fire. They could not stop the word from coming forward. We are called to fill our communities with the gospel of Christ. How do we do it? We do it by delegating authority and by multiplying. We are not called to survive. We are called to arise and shine. We are called to have a dominion. We are called to fill the nation with the word of the Lord. They tried to stop the, the, the apostles from preaching. They couldn't stop them and they cannot stop you. They cannot stop you from spreading the word of the Lord. They will try. But when they try, it will just push you even further to be on fire. It, 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 when they try to stop you, you'll just find the fireman and it will start a blaze. Yes. And when you start a blaze, yes. everyone who's around you will get affected by the fire. Yes. Everyone who comes close to everyone who comes close to you will be affected by the fire. Yes. Everyone who comes close to you will be affected by the power. Yes. Because there's a power Hallelujah. that comes out of you. That has nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with God. Yes. And it's that power that's really going to cause change to take place. In this place. Amen. Bless God. They scattered. And they spread the word everywhere that they went. They took, they had domi they took dom dominion over the area. And there is something inside of us that is more powerful than any obstacle that we will face. Because when the word of the Lord comes like this with so much power and authority, the enemy comes up even stronger. Because he's not, dealing, he's not coming up against you based on what is happening now. He's coming up based on you, what he sees going to happen later on. He sees the thousands who will be saved. So he's coming up, on, uh, coming up against you now to prevent that, come, prevent that from happening. But the word of, when the word of the Lord comes true, there is nothing the enemy can do to stop it. And there is nothing the enemy can do to stop you. You better believe that. Nothing. 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 Wherever the word of the Lord is, 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 is spread, lives will change. Circumstances will change. Families will change. They will change. We are not called to maintain. We've been maintaining for too long. We've been, we've been, we've been in the survival mode for too long. This is time for us to take the nations. 
This is the time for us to win souls for the kingdom of God. This is the time for us to change the face of this nation. This is our time. Tell the person, this is my time and thy season. That's right, it is. The power of the gospel of Jesus Christ will change lives and change circumstances. Yes. We cannot be complacent. We cannot be passive. Because the Lord wants us to arise and shine. That's what he wants. This is time for believers to, lay, that, to know that they cannot live just like everybody else. It's time for us to shine. God has spoken his word that we should arise and shine. We need a positive change from our present situation. Mm. And it's consistent with the word of the Lord. The devil cannot change what God has said. He cannot change God's plan for us. That plan cannot be changed. It will happen. We will arise. We will shine. We will take the nation of this earth. Somebody, I need you to see after me. I'm making the declaration right now. In the name of Jesus, say after me. I will, I will arise. I will shine. I'm not going to be complacent. I'm not going to be defeated. I'm not going to be held back. I belong to the Lord. I have authority. I have dominion. I will overcome every challenge, every barrier, and influence the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now give God a shout of triumph. That's right. That's right. That's how it is. Got to understand who you are. The power. You have power. Matthew chapter three, five, chapter five and verse thirteen says, "You are the salt of this earth." But if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? <laughs> it is no longer good for anything, except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. It says, "You are the light of the world." A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a light on a, on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify the Father in heaven. Listen, we can change this nation. We can influence this nation. We need to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ throughout the nation. Titus chapter 1 and verse 5, it says, appoint leaders in every city. This is how the multiplication takes place. This is how it happens. To our good groups. We have good groups throughout, throughout the, a lot of the, these villages and, it's going to, and they're going to multiply. God wants, God wants us to take the word that is released in this house and spread it throughout the villages, spread it throughout the nations, because he wants us to multiply. Because and I said before, there are some people who won't come to this, this building, but they're going to come to your homes. And it's the same word that, they get in, that you get in here, the same word they're going to get when they come to your house. It's not a different word. It's the same word. The same level of deliverance. Because deliverance is not confined to this building. Deliverance is, confined, is not confined to anywhere. Wherever you are, people will get delivered. Amen. Wherever you are, healing will take place. Amen. So it's going to take place in your homes. Our good groups are about to multiply. The groups are about multiply, multiplication, growth, and making disciples. That is what it's all about. We are about to spread the gospel throughout the nations. Bring deliverance to the nation. We are about to make effective disciples. Somebody say effective disciples. Effective disciples. So that's, why, that's why we are asking each person, if you are not part of a growth group, go to growth group will be starting again, I think it's in June, right? Yes. Yeah. Make sure that you, you sign up to be part of a growth group. Because what, what you have in here on a Sunday morning is, is more than that. You need it. You need more than that for, for what God is doing. God is about to do. Amen? So it's important that you become part of a good group. And I'm sure wherever you live, there's a good group close to you. That's, what, that's, that's, that, that's the goal, to make sure we have good groups close enough to the persons from, uh, uh, in the different villages so you don't have to go too far to go to the group. 
and the group is just for you go to the group group is for an hour and a half and you get a complete you get a complete word complete deliverance and you have your fellowship amen life change life changing yeah. things happen at, at these groups and people will be, be drawn to you people your neighbors so, so so another thing that you will have to do for this to be effective you cannot just don't talk to your neighbors so if, if that neighbors you don't talk to you got to start talking to them Somebody, uh, I don't know. You got to start talking to them. Because if you don't talk to them, how can you witness to them? You be the, you be the, the Christian. You be the believer. And you go and uh, extend your, ha your hand. It's true that there, there was a family feud for the past so many years. But you are the ones who are going to break it. It has to break. Because in order for, you to, for us to win souls, we got to love people. You got to love everybody. Because if, if, if you, we discriminate with, with, with regards to who we love, to the persons that we love, it, this, not, this, this won't work. We, ha we have to ask God for a heart of love. We have to ask God for a heart that forgives. The person may have hurt you and hurt you very badly, and you probably told yourself, I would never give, I will never forgive them. But if you don't forgive them, how do you expect God to forgive you? Because in the same measure that you give, is the same measure that you receive. So if you want forgiveness, you have to give forgiveness. Let that resonate just for a moment. Yeah. Because some of us, we're not even speaking to our own sisters and brothers. How can you witness to them? What type of example is that for Christ? You be the believer. That person who you're not speaking to, that sister who you're not speaking to, that brother who you're not speaking to, when you go home today, call them. Even if you, tell, even, even if you believe that you are right, tell them, I forgive you. <laughs> because forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness frees you up. Some of us, we walk around in bondage and we didn't, don't even realize it. But in this season, for, this, for, for what was just released here today to happen, we have to love everybody. Can't discriminate because we have followed the principles that Jesus placed for us to follow, and Jesus loved unconditionally. That's why his ministry was so effective because he loved everybody, cared, he had compassion for everybody. So those folks who are not speaking that you do not speak to in the in the village, I got to start to speak to them. Same thing I told the folks in Brooklyn. So those neighbors have been living in the same apartment building for the past 20 years and they don't even know their name? You got to knock on the door. Because we take that building, that entire building with 41 stories, 41 floors, we claim that building for the kingdom of God. And in, in order for that to happen, you got to make friends with people. This is, it's easier to win a friend than to win someone who's just walk, walking on the street. So when you make friends with people, it will be, it'll be easier for you to win them to Christ. We've got to change the way we do things. We've got to change the way we do things. We've got to, we've got to make God look, look great. Your faith is in God. Tell him what you want. Tell him what you want. He ain't going to find you in there. You will find what you want. This is the the Lord gave me not too long ago. It's a simple song. I want you to learn and sing along. It just says.